Hello my beauties and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I'm collabing with my beautiful sister and friend over here on YouTube and that is Erica Conga. Um, I will pop her picture up here so you can see just how beautiful and talented she is. I'm so excited to be doing this. I absolutely love collabing with Erica and I love the questions she comes up with. It's always so much fun. And we both, we were chatting and we worked out, we both had the Nomad Royal Europe palette. And both of us are huge fans of Nomad Cosmetics and this palette is so beautiful. Let me see if I can do it. So, there we go. How gorgeous is that? I think my colour choices might surprise a few of you today. Um, but Erica put together some questions for us to, to work with today. So let's give this a go. Okay, so I'm going to start with Shombrum Palace, the shade here. Um, Firstly, if you guys haven't been over and checked Erica out, if you don't know who she is, you will find both her channel and video linked in the description box below. Please, 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 if you haven't already, go check her out. You're going to love her. Okay, let's get started with these questions. So, the theme is, if I were a queen. So, question number one is, what rule or law would you put into place? Now, this is a really tough one. Um, what rule or law would I put into place? Um, that everybody had to be kind, I think would be the law that I would want more so. Because I've seen way too much unkindness recently and it's sad, it is so sad. So yeah, I definitely think if I were to put a new rule or law in place, it would be that everybody had to be kind and that it's okay if people have a differing opinion to you. That's fine. You don't have to agree, but you do have to be kind. Well, that was a nice easy one to answer actually in the end um so question number two what rule or law would you banish um i think i would have to say um i know that it's not law in some countries and is in others but i think i would banish the law on cannabis for medical use because having a medical concern myself I have chronic pain. Um, I think that for use, medical use, I think it should, shouldn't be against the law. Okay, well this is moving quicker than I thought. Um, question number three, what movie would you declare everyone has to watch? Well, I could name a lot of movies. Um, I'm gonna go with my favorite movie. And that is Conner. I think everybody needs to watch that film. I do have a lot of movies that I think everyone should have seen. The Labyrinth, um, Little Shop of Horrors, all the Harry Potter movies. <laughs> There's many. But my favourite film ever is Con Air. I absolutely love that film. I can watch it over and over. Another favourite, The Day After Tomorrow. I know it does say which movie, but I've mentioned a few. Okay, so the movie I would declare everyone has to watch is Con Air. But I might have to stick another little law in place that says everyone has to watch all those others as well. Um, <laughs> just because I love those films. Um, where I am stuck indoors a lot most of the time in fact um due to condition i have um yeah films are kind of my little escape from reality so films and books are my escape from reality okay so next i'm gonna go into neptune fountain i know right who am i 
got to be done. I don't know. I'm actually feeling in the mood for kind of, I don't know, kind of the, the mustardy colour and brown. I have no idea why. So, what song, question number four, I should say. I will list all of these questions in the description box below for if any of you guys want to answer them, answer them in the comments section below or if you have a youtube channel and you want to you want to do this video too just please if you do do it tag both myself and erica so that we can watch it and hear your answers too so yes question number four what song would announce your arrival at social gatherings that is easy la bamba it is my favourite song um, ever and I've always joked that, well I say joked, I'm, I'm only half joking, um, at my funeral I want La Bamba played and everyone has to get up and dance to it and if they don't I'm going to haunt them. <laughs> um, I am joking there but yeah La Bamba, I have loved that song for pretty much my whole life it is my favorite and it definitely would for anyone that knows me really well would definitely announce my presence my daughter's nodding nod my daughter is nodding i don't know what's going on i don't know i say that every time i can never talk so it's just me isn't it so yes la bamba it is I do love how easy these are to work with these shades. Okay, so question number five. What what new holiday would you create and what would you call it? Um, I think we should have a couch potato day. Um, so that we could just lay on the couch like potatoes for a day. And the, by law, that is what everyone had to do. Whether you, you're watching a film or reading a book or chatting to friends, whatever. Just a day where everybody has to just lay on their the couch like a potato. I couldn't think of anything else, really. I think there's so many holidays, like national holidays and like in different ones in different countries and I just think that would be a really good one for everyone everyone just had a holiday where it was law to relax for the day that would be so cool I don't know how Erica comes up with these questions they're brilliant You'd have to pick what day that would be. What would be a good day for couch potatoing? I don't know. It doesn't say to pick when, so I'm not going to make this any more difficult for myself than it needs to be. So, yeah. National Couch Potato Day would be my holiday. Okay, so where are we at? Question number six. What would your idea of a palette fit for a queen be? Does that already exist in your collection? Okay, I'm going to go into Royal Orb. This one here. Um, I, I'm going to be pretty predictable here. Obviously, I'm going to say my palette, my collab palette with, ooh, with um, Saints Angel Sinners with stylings from my beautiful Scorpio sister, Avida. Um, of course, I think that is the perfect fit for a queen palette because it's mine. So I think, yeah, that, that's obvious. It was created how I would love it, so yeah. Nice easy one, but if I was to say not mine, this is definitely a palette fit for a queen, definitely. But of course I was going to say my palette. Okay, 
Where are we up to next? Question number seven. Describe what your dream castle would look like. Oh my God, this is so tough because I've never been kind of into the big castles, etc. I would like kind of a cottagey style castle in the middle of forest, mountains, lakes. That's That would be my idea of heaven. Um, like a field of poppies surrounding it, fields of poppies surrounding it, that would be ideal. Little forests, lots of lakes, big mountains over the back, and just a lot of nature. I think, actually, it was thinking about answering that question that kind of inspired the eye look I wanted to do. I can just see all the the trees and the oh, beautiful. Yeah, inside I think it would quite probably be just full of pets and a makeup room, a whole big maybe a makeup wing if it's a castle sized cottage. A castle can you get a castle sized cottage well this is make believe so we we have one um yeah you have to have a large makeup area with a huge room with all the I don't know, just beautiful nature decorations like big plants yeah and Question number, how many questions are there? 15. Okay. Question number eight. You and your queen friends are out for a night on the town. Where would you go to celebrate? Um, this is a really difficult one because I would, I would have to say like a, a country bar where you've got like the country and western... I would love that. People line dancing, country band playing, proper country pub. I would love that. That would be that would be where I would take my queen friends out on the town. Um we have question number nine. What self-care activity do you do besides makeup that makes you feel like a queen? Makes me feel like a queen. Hmm. I'm gonna go into Imperial Queen imperial crown that i can't say um what do i do that makes me feel like a queen face masks sheet masks um i'd have to say that's probably about it <laughs> um yeah i don't really do much apart from makeup that makes me feel that great so yeah um self-care does hanging out with people i love that does that count as self-care Surrounding myself with people that I love. Because if that counts, then that would be it. Okay, question number 10. If you could hop into any literary world and be queen there, where would it be and why? Um, Harry Potter. The world of Harry Potter. The world of witchcraft and wizardry would be where I would want to be queen. Definitely. Um, if you know me, you know I am obsessed with the Harry Potter films. I've got them all on DVD. I could probably recite all of them by heart. If any actor were to have dropped out, I could have filled their lines. Couldn't have done the acting. I could have definitely said their lines. I do love these. These shades. The most shifty of the multi-chromes I've found in these is Royal Treasure. It is absolutely stunning. It didn't go with this look. Um, but these multi-chromes are absolutely gorgeous, I have to say. Um, so yeah, I would be queen of the world of witchcraft and wizardry. Just because I would want to be absorbed into the world with Harry Potter and 
all of the others. Severus Snape, um, it would have to be before he died because that broke my heart. Um, so yeah, right, what am I doing now? Um, when, question 11, when you were little, what queen, real, fictional or imaginary did you want to be? Um, I don't know about queen, I wanted to be Ariel a lot. I had a thing about wanting to be Ariel. Um, I don't know if I ever really wanted to be a queen. I wouldn't, always wanted to be something like a fairy or a, a mermaid or, you know, something magical. And I wouldn't say I ever really considered queens as magical. I know I have moments that I would have loved to have been the the Wicked Queen. But they were generally when I was mad at someone and wished I could cast a curse on them um, in my younger years. So I don't think that really counts, does it? Um, so yeah, I would say I more so I always wanted to be a fairy or a mermaid or, you know, something like that. This is looking so pretty. Are we on question number 12. What is the most queenly or royal dessert you've ever eaten? Queenly or royal dessert I've ever eaten. Hmm. I'm just going back into Neptune Fountain, the brown. Um, oh, crikey. Um, tiramisu? I can never say that right, which is why I was trying not to say that. Um, yeah, I would have to say that. We're going to go with that and I'm not going to say it again because I know I can't say that properly. If I say it really slowly and I can. <laughs> so yeah, that. Um, 13. If, you, if your partner said, honey, I want to treat you like a queen for a day, what would you have him do for you? Um, that's easy. Sit and watch films with me all day. And eat ice cream with me. That. That is exactly what I would say. And I am very lucky I do have a wonderful man that will do that for me. So I am very fortunate. Okay, where are we at now? Um, 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 um. Question 14. If you were an actress and got cast in a role as a queen, what actor would you hope got cast as your king? Um, I would have to say Nicolas Cage. Um, he's my favourite actor. I love him. Or, or Vin Diesel. Or The Rock. Do I have to choose one? Can I be one of these queens that has like several kings? <laughs> um, oh crikey. We're going to go Nicolas Cage, or are we? Or Vin Diesel. I can't choose. Um, though I have three kings. <laughs> so my three kings are... Nicolas Cage, Vin Diesel and The Rock. So there you go. There you have it. I have three. I am greedy. I cannot choose. This is looking so nice. I'm really loving this actually. Who thought they'd hear me say that about a look that's mostly brown, huh? Okay. Okay, so we are on the final question, question number 15. What was a time or experience in your life when you truly felt like a queen? Wow. Um, truly felt like a queen. Hmm. Oh gosh, I don't know. Maybe when my daughter, when she was young, threw me a, a birthday party and it was a, a kid's birthday party and I got to play Pass the Parcel and Everything as an adult, does that count? <laughs> yeah, I think that made me feel 
like a queen because she'd put so much effort into making sure it was special and I had all the games. So yeah, I would definitely say that that would be the time in my life that I felt most like a queen. Ooh. Okay. I'm happy with how that's looking. So that is the end of the questions. I would really love for you guys to answer these questions. I am not great at coming up with answers on the spot, so I really hope I did okay. Um, but yeah, what I'm gonna do now is head off and finish my face and then I'll come back, we'll have a quick chat. So if you would like to see that and have a chat with me, then don't go anywhere. Okay, my beauties, this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Just get a bit closer so you can see. Um, I'll just let you know a few of the bits I popped on my face. So I did go in on my under eyes with the same matte. So I went in with Neptune Fountain and Chambrum Palace. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Um, and then on my lower lash line also I went in with Royal Treasure just to add a little bit of difference. I love it. Um, for, for blush I went into the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Bare Cheeks Palette. I love this. This was a gift from my beautiful friend Jeanette. And I went into Making Me Blush. Beautiful palette. Both of them beautiful um for bronzer i use the hmb cosmetics bronzer in the shade light i love this for highlights i use the p louise skin bling in hollywood hills i love the packaging on these they are so cute but this is the shade i think it went beautifully with the royal theme i think so um what else do we have on? Lashes are from Meggy Lashes. They're in the style hint of purple. Um, in my waterline, I've got the So Su Coal Eyeliner in the shade Metallic Green. And then on my lips, I have a mixture. Mixture? I've used the MAC Eye and Lip Liner Pencil in the shade... Does it say the shade? MAC 1599. Is that the shade? It's brown. Um, and then I use the Be Perfect Supreme Velvet lipstick in the shame all the in the shame in the shade all the sass. And yeah, I think it looks beautiful. So let me know what you guys think. Oh my god, this was so much fun. This palette is an absolute beauty. I love it. It is stunning. I love the outer packaging. The colour story is amazing. I think they did a great job with these multichromes along the bottom. They are stunning. Absolutely gorgeous colour story. And I'm so excited to see what Erica's look is like. Um, I know it's going to be beautiful. I think she's going to be a little bit shocked at the colour choices that I've made today. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with it. I'm loving the look. Yeah, totally happy. Um, Erica, thank you so, so much for collabing with me and for coming up with such fun questions. As always, I don't know how you do it. I really don't. But it is always so, so much fun. And guys, again, if you have not been and checked out Erica, you will find her channel and the video linked in the description box below. Please, please, please go check her out. She is just the best. I absolutely adore her. She's my sister. I love her to pieces. Um, yeah, what's left to say? Everything I've popped on my face, you'll find listed in the description box below, along with this set of questions that Erica came up with. Again, if you want to answer them in the comment section below, please go ahead. I would love to hear your answers. If you have a channel and you would like to do this video, answer these questions please do tag myself and erica so that we can watch and hear your answers also that would be absolutely wonderful so yeah that is it i think i think i've thought of everything i probably haven't but yeah that's me um so 
if you've liked this video please do give it a like if you are new here if you've come over from erica's channel hi i'm steph i absolutely love indie brands generally really colorful makeup a bit out of character today but i'm loving it still um yeah if you like to see indie brands and you've enjoyed today then please do consider subscribing i would totally appreciate you and yeah thank you so much for spending this time with me today for watching thank you so so much i really hope you've enjoyed it as much as i have and i hope you're all having a great day great evening wherever you are whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Yeah. Stepping in the spot like she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it off like a gunplay. Oh my. Yeah. Talk of the city with the body. Always getting praised like it's Sunday. She said, baby, what you gonna do about it?